What you guys got another video here for you on how to monitor CPU and GPU temperatures on Windows 10 and put them down on the taskbar there on the bottom right so you can keep an eye on your temperatures. Very simple and easy to do and it's also free to do. So let's take a look how to do it. So inside Windows 10, inside the task manager, you can only monitor the GPU temperatures now. It does show you the GPU temperature down here. But that's not much use to you when you want to see it at a quick glance on the task manager here. So let me show you how I'm going to set this up. We're going to be using HW Info, and it's a free piece of software you can download and install on your system. Now, you're going to want to get the installer version here so we can uh, install it on our system and set it up to run down the taskbar there on boot up. So let's get this downloaded. Once that's downloaded, click on the executable file that you just downloaded and this will open up the installation process here there we go what we need to do here now is click on next i agree to their terms and conditions click next and choose the path where you want to install it i'm going to leave the name as is and just go through the installation process like that and also click on launch hw info and then put this up so once this opens up, you should see a bunch of boxes popping up here with some applications. This is some information about all the hardware on your computer. All we're interested in at the moment is the sensor information. But by all means, check out this program for some other information. It's got loads you can do with this software. Awesome bit of kit. So click on the sensor icon here. I'm just going to drop that background program down to the taskbar here and concentrate on HW Info Sensor Status Box. Now, what we're looking for here is the CPU package here. And what that's going to do is give us the information that we're looking for uh, for the CPU, which is the temperature information. So don't get confused with the ones at the top here. We want to come down a little bit further and you'll see here where it says CPU package. This is the one here. So highlight this and then we can right click on it and this will allow us to add this to our taskbar. So let's go and add to tray. And if you look down the bottom right here, you can see it's added the CPU package down here. And this is the minimum, maximum and average sort of temperatures you can expect from your CPU. So mine's running a little bit hot at the moment because it needs a clean out because dust is building up inside the case. So let's move on down to next, the GPU. And we're going to look for GPU temperature here. Now, of course, you can add more to your task bar down there if you wish. And there's loads of goodies down here, but I'm just going to use these two for this tutorial. So let me go ahead and look for GPU temperature. It's there. So you can see the GPU temps. And all we need to do here now is do the same thing. Right click on here and add to tray. And that's now added down the tray here. Now, the other one's disappeared because it's gone into here. So drag these out onto the taskbar here so you can see them all the time. Now, the downfall is at the moment is if you close the program off, these will disappear. So we need to set this up so they stay there on boot up. And that's what we're going to do next is get these to boot up here. But before we do that, let's change the colors on this and I'll show you where you can do this. So click on the cog icon here and this will allow you to change the color schemes and make some changes to all of this. If you want to set yours up, you can do it all in here. So what we need to do is go to the system tray tab here and you'll see in the showing tray here, it's got it as black and I don't really want that as a black sort of color here. So we're going to change this to a much nicer color. You can also leave it as transparent here and other settings to your needs, but just change it to a color that you want to use. So just choose a color that suits your needs and set it up how you want. You can also have it as transparent and other bits and pieces here. So I'm just going to leave this as green here as well. You can also change the font in there if that's what you want to do. Uh, but this is just to show you how to get it set up there. Now, we've got the color scheme just as we want it here. What we need to do now is get this to set up so we don't have to leave this box open all the time. And if I close this off now, it will disappear. 
but I've got it in a system tray here. So you have to leave this open. So what I'm going to do here is go to the programs tab in the main program. Once we open this back up and go to settings up here now, once we go to there, we can actually make some changes to the settings box here. Let me just zoom in here and we take a closer look at what we're going to do here. So we're going to show sensors on startup. And we're also going to minimize the main window on startup. And you can also see minimize the sensors on startup as well. You've got that option there available. So let's put the tick in there. We also want to do auto start, which is on the right hand side here. So we can do auto start. And I'm going to remove the show system summary on startup because we don't need to have the system sum summary on startup because we're just going to leave this down in the system tray here. So let me go up uh, to the top here and just remove that tick there. And once we've got that how we want it, we can now click on OK and reboot the uh, system. Now, when you close the box off, it's going to um, obviously disappear because we need to get this set. And I'm just going to quickly close this off and reboot the system. And hopefully on reboot, you should see something like this. And you won't need to worry about closing off the program because it's running in the system tray and everything is being minimized and everything should be looking pretty good. And that's it. And you can add whatever you like down on your system tray, whether it will be some uh, wattage you're using or whatever it is you want to monitor. You can add those down on your system tray. A special thanks to these people who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate your support. So a big thank you to you guys who are up on the screen right now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for the continued support. Bye for now.